Welcome back once again everyone, I'm Kepi's Games, this is EVE Online, I'm in my burger, so it's time for us to run another level 4 mission together. And the mission we have been given today is the Rogue Slave Trader, part 1 of 2. We will be doing part 1 and part 2 in this video, it's quite short. Okay, we are fighting Sancha's Nation, so this is EMP and thermal firing enemies. We may switch over to EMP ourselves, we may not. If we consult our Sancha's NPC list, we'll just quickly check what they're weakest to. Yes, they do seem to be weakest to EMP. Alright, we'll be using EMP ammunition on this mission and the second one as well. First mission, we need to pick up 50 prisoners from a, a slave trading facility. That's easy enough. It's only one jump away. We're getting paid 330,000 ISK, which is pretty weak. Just over 1,500 loyalty points, which is again pretty weak. 370,000 ISK, terrible, if we do it within 1 hour and 26 minutes. So as you can tell, this first part does not take very long at all. Okay, we are en route to the mission. Here we are. There are not very many enemies here. They are just about spot on range wise, so we'll just turn on all the things, target lock all the things, and demolish everything very, very quickly. One and two, and here come frigates and destroyers. Then we'll just annihilate everything very quickly. There we go. Bookmark a wreck so I can come back and loot and salvage this thing. The thing you have to destroy is this large structure here, the slave pen, so we'll just target lock it. It is a 1 million isk battleship, but it dies very easily, as we can see. Right, let's blow up the slave pen. When you blow up the slave pen, it will drop a cargo container, which is containing the prisoners which we need for the mission. We've got lucky, it looks like everything dropped some loot, that's good. Dang it, the cargo container is one kilometer outside of our tractor beam range, that's annoying. If you hang out here for like 10 minutes, about 10 kilometers directly above us, where we warp in, a second 1 million Iska battleship will spawn. I am not hanging out here for 10 minutes waiting for a 1 million Iska battleship to spawn. I'm just going to grab this can and leave. If you want, feel free to hang out for 10 minutes and do a complete full clear. As this is a two part mission, I will not loot and salvage and wait for the bounty to hit my wallet. I will do both parts and then give you the complete total for both parts at the end. Here are our prisoners. You do need 375 cubic meters of space to get these guys. And apparently we've not got enough. That's really annoying. Okay, now we just, literally just had enough room. Wow, okay. Right. Let's hand this first part in and get part Work two. Active. Part two is you actually tracking down the base of operations of these slave traders. And teaching them a fatal lesson. There's two rooms in the second part. Room one's very easy, just a couple of cruisers and battleships. Room two can be pretty difficult unless you've got a big tank or lots of firepower. And as a marauder, we have both of those things. Alright, let's hand in part one and request part two. Here we are. It's in a different system. Luckily, it's in this one, so we're not having to go very far. 754,000 ISK with an extra 655 if you do it within three hours. And 3,000 loyalty points. So the game thinks it's a medium difficulty mission. If you're unprepared, room two can be pretty tough. Group 2 does not have all that many NPC ships, but it does have an awful lot of NPC gun turrets, including cruise missile, heavy missile, and gun turret batteries. So obviously those are the things you kill first, and then the DPS drops off to manageable levels. At least that's the theory.
there is quite a lot of DPS at the start of room 2. If you have a micro jump drive, that's perfect. Just instantly get a 100km range and everything and snipe. I will just be face tanking it because I am in a marauder. Okay, this is a room 1, the in gate. Oh, it's our old friend, Mr. Placeholder Asteroid. All the same size and in the same orientation and looks really fucking amateurish. Anyway, the slave traders are like, oh no, he's here, let's kill him, and um, that's not going to go well for them. I should probably turn on Bastion, that sometimes helps to apply some DPS, there we go, that's more like it. Got all distracted by this absolutely abysmal looking site. You know, sometimes I think CCP don't even care anymore. And look at the lack of care that was put into this. And they obviously just replaced, wrote a script that replaced mineable asteroids with this one model and then applied it to every mission and didn't bother manually checking to see how it looked. Because if they did, then that's even worse. If someone looked at this and thought, yep, that's good, that'll do, ship it then um, there's really no hope for them. Right, that was room one. I suppose we should bookmark one of these wrecks. Again, quite a lot of them, all but one, dropped some loot. That's pretty cool. We'll just reload. Orb drive active. And into the final room of this two-part mission. Here we are, as we see at the top of the list, lots of gun turrets and not very many NPCs sprinkled throughout this. So let's just get rid of the crews and heavy missile batteries first because they are going to hurt us the most. And there are web towers here as well. As you see, even with Bastion on, the tank took a right big hit right then and that was from the cruise missiles. The cruise missile batteries are like the hardest things, the hardest hitting things in this room. Once they're gone it gets pretty easy as we can see. All the other towers just absolutely disintegrate, and just like that. And now the DPS has fallen off to much more manageable levels. I think I'm going to put one gun on each of these guys, and I'm going to spit my drones out and get them to kill the frigates. And there they go. That cargo container you see on the overview will just be ammunition from one of the gun turrets. And they'll start attacking the battleship as well herself. So yeah, kill the turrets first, and then this room is easy. In the olden days, or if you don't have a Marauder that does insane tank and insane damage, um, you may want to micro jump drive away, or pack extra tank, because as you saw, even the Marauder tank took a huge chunk of damage before we managed to get on top of it. Why is this slaver taking so long to die? Oh, I see, he's um, elite. Well, we'll just wait for the drones to kill this frigate. I have no chance of tracking this thing at 6,000 meters. Should drop a big mark, I suppose. Come on, drones, finish off that final frigate. There we go, jolly dude. Right, let's hand this mission in and loot it. Wait for the Our bounty to hit. Active. And we'll see what we've come up with. Okay, complete mission. That is 12 minutes since we began part 1. So we've done both parts in two different systems and three different rooms in 12 minutes flat. Right, I'm going to go on with this. I shall talk to you again very soon. Okay, some time has passed. I've been out. I've looted and salvaged all three rooms of both parts of that two-part mission. And here are the bounty prizes for two parts. First first part was only 1.5 million. If we'd hung around for 10 minutes, that would be 2.5 million because we would have got the second bonus battleship. But 10 minutes for 1 million is a complete waste of everyone's time. That's why we did not do that. And the second part of the mission gained us 3.3 million. So it's not very good. It's what, 4.8 altogether, loot and salvage wise. We got a 7.3 million estimated value of everything, valuable items. 3 million of that is worth selling. Another 3 million of that was in salvage. What is worth all that money here? 
Apparently the Tangled Power Conduits are worth 139,000 each, and that's quite nice. It's just 3 million worth selling, and 3 million of salvage, so that's 6 million worth keeping. We did get one tag worth 1800 discs, so that's a complete waste of time. Anyway, that's the end of this video, it's another very short one. I, th I thought this would be a little bit longer with it being a two-part mission, but um, we ran it in 12 minutes. So I hope to see you for the next one, and I hope you look after yourself until then. I will chat to you again very soon.